What is up again, everybody? Uh, I found these guys at GameStop. I thought it was pretty cool. I did not even know that they made killer clowns. So that is actually pretty awesome. So I'm gonna try to uh, see what kind of stuff we get in here. I think we're gonna do it in this order right here. This, uh, they have a bunch of different cyber cell packs. I believe they're all just like three card packs. They all come with like sleeved cards already. Uh, there's one rare and two commons in each one, I believe. That's how it works. But we'll do it like this. This one right here, the Ninja Turtles. I believe this would be my rare because the orange is the rare. And then we got my mans here. Now these have a, a code scan thing on the back for like uploading them online. I'm not gonna show you because I might do it myself. I don't actually know how it works, but we're gonna try it. Um, these, I believe are the same. I've never actually opened these. I don't really know anything about this. I just thought it was cool. That's kind of cool that it says DC in there, if you can see that. Let me just rip the box open. That's pretty cool. It says DC on the inside. I guess it's just two packs of these guys. I'd imagine this is the exact same thing. Again, I have no idea. Are they made by the same people? Cardsmith. Cardsmith is the, uh, that's the company that makes the, the currency coins. All right, here we go. There's this guy here. Batman and Robin, that's pretty sweet. A Robin coin, which is a big R. Showcase, Dr. Fate, that's pretty cool, the Justice Society. I checked that out, Justice League Dark. That is a hollow, that is actually a pretty cool looking card. I will sleeve that one up. Um, I don't know how they do like rarities on here. Does it say it anywhere? It does not. It just has a mint number on the back, which again, I don't know how that works. I don't want to show you because I may go online and try to do this stuff myself. I just don't know how it works. Next we have, let me put this guy up here. Gone, gone. Pretty sweet. Shazam, if you guys have seen the movies. Aquaman, all-star comics. That's like the, uh, the action comics series looking things lightning strikes dr fate again pretty sweet oh that's actually kind of cool it's a hollow oh double hollow that's pretty cool justice society that's a uh, black adam page five of jla justice number nine 2007 i don't know what that means but that's actually pretty cool so we actually got a double hitter in that one i don't really know anything about these i think they're pretty cool i'm going to look these up later they don't have like a, I was trying to see if there was like a rarity thing somewhere on the bottom like some of these things have, but it's, it doesn't look like it does. And they just have scan codes on the back, which again, I don't really want to show because I want to do it myself online and see what they are. All right, Cardsmith, they make the currency cards. This I think was like $11 or $12. I thought it was cool, Killer Clowns. Um, I grew up with Killer Clowns, or I grew up watching the movie Killer Clowns, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's see what these have. These packs are not as hard as I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be super hard to open, but it was not as hard as I thought. Well, there's a hollow in there somewhere. I see it. Let me just move it to the back. It's a numbered card, it looks like. But here we go. You got this guy, that's like the iconic guy from the from the movies, if you've ever seen it. Hey, it's the cotton candy things. That's where they would put the bodies inside the cotton candy, and then they'd suck the blood. Oh, there's another hollow. There's two of them in here, it looks like. That guy's cool. That's the guy that says, uh, I'm going to knock your block off, and then he punches the dude's head off. <laughs> there he is again. That's pretty funny. Hey, check that out. That thing is, like, thick. That's, like, real thick. Jeez, and it's bent. That might be like one of the super rare versions of it. It's a car, it's a numbered card, so I'd imagine it's got to be something, right? Or are they all numbered? No? I mean, they all have a number, but that's like a numbered card. I'll have to look that up. See what it's about. 
That's pretty cool, but it's like permanently bent. It's stuck bent. It's a super thick card. It feels pretty cool. All right, let's go again. This one doesn't have that thickness to it, so there is a hollow though. So let's just, I think it was the last, yeah, okay. All right, let's see what we got going on here on this pack. Nothing crazy. This one, they're going around town, hunting all the people down. That's the, the main boss. They had to shoot the nose or pop the nose or something like that. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. If you've seen the movie, you'd understand what I'm talking about. Is that a duplicate? Pretty sure I got this guy already. Maybe not. Maybe not. Now, I don't know. And the hollow. Oh, it's the main character from it. That's cool. He's trying to hook up with that chick, Mike. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that they made those. They are pretty cool. I was kind of excited to find them. Uh, let me just sleeve these guys up while I talk here. So it's actually pretty cool. Oh crap, I got the wrong size sleeves. Um, if you find them, if it's something that you might be interested in, I, I found them at GameStop. They have them there. At least the one at mine. They had uh, the first GameStop I went to only had the one. So I bought it. Uh, and then I ended up going to another GameStop in another town and they had more of them, but I didn't buy them. Um, I think the one was going to be enough for me. Just something cool to open for a first time opening it, first time finding it. I like to just open random things all the time, so that kind of fed my, my need to open random stuff. But I think that is going to do it. Let me uh, finish sleeving these guys up and then I'll give you a, a recap real quick. I think this is the last one to sleeve. There we go. Do your quick recap here. We had this guy here, Justice League Dark, the Justice Society Hollow, Panel One Hollow, the Knock Your Block Off Hollow, the Mike Hollow, and the Prism, I believe, is most likely what that's called. It's like a cracked ice through Pokemon. Um, they had those cracked ice hollows, and that's kind of what this looks like here. I don't want to bend it too hard, but it's kind of cool. Um, if they grade these, that might be kind of cool to grade, but maybe not. I don't know. I think I had one of these that were non hollow too, didn't I? Yeah, that's the same card right there, except it's like a prism version, like a cracked ice version. It's the same card, just numbered. Again, I will look this up and just see what it is. Maybe it might be valuable. Who knows? Maybe not. I don't really care. I just think it's cool. Um, well, maybe they grade these. Maybe I'll send this off to get graded just because. But thanks for checking around. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I will see you later. Goodbye.